Welcome back to this edition of Wealth on Health. Mark Gertner and Richard Rosaka were two patients of no-nonsense cardiologist Dr. Grecos. After both men met strict criteria for the stem cell therapy, Dr. Greco suggested the revolutionary treatment in Thailand. Every January, Dr. Grecos performs certain tests, a um, radioactive iso isotope stress test and uh, some uh, tests of the carotid arteries and my test results this year, this January, were not good. But Mr. Gertner is also diabetic, and the issue that I have, or the problem that all cardiologists have with diabetics, is you can fix the big vessels on the outside of the heart, but the tiny vessels are still plugged, and you're not getting good flow through them. So I was kind of at a standstill. I was seeing him slowly deteriorate in the last year or so clinically. It frustrated me and bothered me that there was nothing else that I could offer him other than what we had to this point. So when the stem cells came about and I saw the types of results we were getting, I recommended that he get them, and he did. And uh, he's done wonderfully since. And with his clinical follow-ups, Mark and Dr. Grecos are seeing signs of a successful recovery. Uh, we've seen an improvement in his ejection fraction. Um, his color's better, his physical activity is better. A lot of the fluid that he had on before has dissipated. So... I'm just, I'm absolutely thrilled that an area that I wasn't able to help in one of my patients, I had the availability of a treatment option to now be able to treat that area. Uh, I, I feel better. It, I'm improved. In my opinion, I'm improved. Richard Rosaka was another patient of Dr. Greco's who found his health declining very rapidly. I was sitting in my uh, family room and I just didn't feel right. I said, get me over to the hospital. I said, I uh, think I'm having a heart attack. So I had stents put in me, and I, I stayed home. I was supposed to be back here right after, uh, right after first, of the, uh, first of the year, but I had to stay here till the 16th, stay in Pittsburgh till the 16th of uh, uh, January because my daughter was getting married on the 18th. So we, we, get back, we got back onto Marco Island uh, on the 16th, my daughter got married on the 18th, and on the 21st, they went on her honeymoon. She rushed me over to the, um, well, I was sitting at home again. And I said, I'm having a heart attack again. I said, get me over to the clinic, over Marco Island Clinic. And thank God we had that Marco Island Clinic. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be here today. When I saw him, um, his physical capacity was markedly diminished. He wasn't able to do much, he'd get short of breath, his uh, mental acuity was not sharp, it had been dulled, and his heart function was reduced in ejection fraction quite a bit. So I felt that he was also a good candidate for the stem cell treatment, and he went. After talking with Dr. Gurkhas, I don't think there was any other option since um, when he had his heart attack, 25% of his heart was damaged, and the 75% that's been working the last four years is working overtime, so to speak, and his ejection was down to 25%. And his heart was, muscle was just wearing out, and there's no operation that could handle that. And the only other option probably was um, a heart transplant, but he's too old for that. There's a time, an age limit, rather, uh, as to when you can have an age, uh, a heart transplant. And um, uh, so you really don't have an option. You either just slowly die or you try for the stem cells. Once all the medical data was collected, Dr. Greco suggested that Mr. Rizaka look into the adult stem cell therapy in Thailand. Then he tells me, he said, you know what it's going to cost? I said, he said, it's going to cost a lot of money. I told him, I said, what good is the money if I'm going to be laying in a box? I said, I'll go for it. It was a chance to try for something, and uh, if it worked okay, and, and if it didn't, well, we don't have any control over that. But we really were, he was thrilled about it, really, and anxious to go and get it done, see what happened with it. But he was, got to the point, he was um, very um, gray looking. He was tired all the time. Uh, he could get up after a night's sleep and have his breakfast and sit, I'm tired. I, you know, I don't know what's wrong with me. 
a lot of things I couldn't do anymore. I couldn't walk anymore like I did. I couldn't, I couldn't work on my old cars like I used to. And, you know, I'm always active. I, I never, I cannot sit and watch television. I have to be busy with myself. I have to keep doing something. And it, 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 before this operation, I, I was, I could feel myself slowing down. Richard's results with Vessel were also positive. The change after he had the stem cells inserted in in Bangkok within a couple of days and we stayed for another week after that and by the time we came home you could see the difference in him he had color he had more uh, energy great I've been feeling great ever since I did this and every time I see friends of ours if we haven't seen for a while now people will say I can't get over the difference in Dick that he's uh, had his color and and his just whole um, personality he's just so much more um, um, active in things, everything he does. For what it did to me, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And I hope, I don't know how many years, good Lord, he gave me to live yet, but he gave me a second chance. Coming up, meet a patient who was one of the pioneers for Bangkok stem cell therapy. Stay with us. Wealth on Health, traveling for a cure, will be